He starts in uh, first, about a week. First of all, I want to say thank you, God, for giving me the opportunity to be outside, do my job. I mean, I think I'm ready to go. You know, I think this is my last hour. You know, I think everything was good today. Everything was working. And I think I, I can wait to be on the opening day. You know? Yeah, how is it, uh, you know, because it's a backfield, it's because it's your last before the season, how tough is it for you to be motivated to get a really good workout? I mean, that's not matter to me, you know I mean? I don't care where I have to pitch, you know, I just got to be outside, do my job, competing. You know? like that's what I have to do, you know what I mean? Uh, pitch in the backfield, I mean, I don't have to worry too much about that, you know, because uh, that's a normal game. You know? It's different than the big league, you know, but I just got to be outside and do, and do my job. What have you learned from the previous two times you pitched the first game of the season? What did you learn about maybe how it felt, the atmosphere, everything? Oh man, forget, you know what I mean? I think everybody's like ready to go, you know, since we get here. I mean, everybody is putting a lot of work, you know, to get better, to compete, and, you know, giving all 100% all the time. I mean, like I said, we can wait to be on the open day, you know, and do our job. Is it, is this feel more exciting when it's that first game, though? Oh yeah, for sure, you know, first game, uh, the opening day in San Francisco, that's going to be amazing, you know, a lot of fans, you know, I mean, it's going to be cold too, but that's no matter to us, you know, just, we just got a bit outside and competing. Sandy, when you talk about the short and spring training, I know in the past you've had it four weeks, but what are your thoughts about the short and spring training, do you think that's going to really affect a whole lot of what you're doing, and, and are you getting as much work in? I mean, for me, no, because, I mean, I was... During my job, during the off-season, you know, I was preparing myself because we know something's going to happen, you know, with baseball. But we was doing our job at home, you know, and since we get the news that we had to report to spring training, you know, everybody was happy to be back, you know, and everybody now is happy to, to work together. So obviously you feel that it didn't have a whole lot of effect on you at all, did it? No, not for me, because like I say, I'm ready to go, you know, I think I'm ready to throw 980 right now, you know, because I was preparing myself in the offseason. You've pitched in San Francisco a couple times before, just what's the key to being successful at that ballpark? I mean, you know, you're stacking the hitter, attacking the hitter, no matter how, you know, doesn't matter how cold it is, you know, I mean, just got to be outside with my best stuff, you know, and try and right, attack the hitter. Cindy, you're... Uh, you're uh, around the league. More and more people talk about you as one of the top pitchers. How do you respond to that? And how does it make you feel now when you hear Cy Young and, and all that other type of stuff? I mean, I feel bad sometimes, you know, because I mean, I don't, ha I don't, I don't get too much credit, you know. But I mean, I don't have to worry about it. You know, I just gotta keep, keep show them that I, we have talent to compete. You know, to show them that we can do everything like they do too. You know what I mean? I mean. You know, I just gotta keep focused, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter, like, they give me, like, credit or not, you know, I just gotta keep competing, do my best. Does it motivate you? Uh, yeah, for sure, you know what I mean? Because they start knowing me a lot right now, you know what I mean? Since, like, three years ago, they, they don't know who is saying their country, you know? But, like, the job that I've been doing, you know, that showed them that, that I'm here. It really, I mean, you've been getting better, but it seemed like that All-Star game, what, 19, really was a big turning point for you. How Do you look back at that as a big moment for you? Oh, yeah, you know I mean? That's a big moment, you know. 2019 was my first All-Star game, you know I mean? I think I feel good about it, you know I mean? Like I said, I just had to keep doing my job, you know, and see if I can get there again.